These are dinosaur footprints. On today's adventure, we are at the Warner Heritage Dinosaur Track Site. What we're gonna do is go look at some more fossilized dinosaur footprints because Utah has a whole lot of them. It's weird. So this is a really short trail. We're parked just over behind this little ridge, this little rise right here. Trail takes you around the corner and then drops down onto this big old rock slab. And they've got a little wall built. So presumably that's where the fossilized footprints are. So we drop down onto this rock slab and they have this weird little pony wall, little barrier. There's footprints in here. So when you're walking around a slab like this, you wanna be careful where you step so you don't step on the fossils because any friction on these fossils is gonna wear them down that much faster and we wanna preserve them for as long as possible. So those little guys, just about the size of my hand, but over here, much bigger ones. Now, if you think about what it took to fossilize these, dinosaurs are walking around in the mud, squishing in, making a footprint, then some sediment fills in, and then over thousands and then eventually millions of years, this mud that they were standing in fossilizes, turns to stone. But the sediment that filled in the track, well, that was lighter stuff. So that eroded away, leaving the footprint. It's such a specific condition required to do this, when you see these, it's just really impressive and remarkable because it's such a specific process. And so to think that I'm standing here or sitting here looking at an actual dinosaur footprint fossilized in the rock, this is just a really special experience. And to have so many of them, including around the state, like we saw the 20 mile dinosaur tracks just out of Staircase Escalante, but those were the big elephant style feet. Then you've got the Aliasaur Raptor style with the three toes and the claws out of Moab, as well as that other section out of Moab that's just a whole collection of a bunch of different dinosaurs, including prehistoric crocodiles. Even though I've seen these dozens of times, every time I come across it, it's just amazing and fascinating to experience. It's one of the reasons that Utah is such a special place. So here you have the reader board explaining what the scientists believe made these footprints. And then there's also, thankfully at this site, there's a map of where the other footprints are around the area. The other sites I've been to had no map. You just kind of walked around and looked for them. This is that wall that we were just inside, looking at these tracks. And it looks like just a little ways up here,
looks like there's a few more up here. But the biggest group and the most impressive collection of them, actual trails, seems to be right here inside this little wall. So after reading the map of where all the tracks are, man, you gotta really look around because you can walk right on a track or over a track without even realizing it because they're way more faint. That's a big toe right there, another toe there, and a partial toe here. And so there's other tracks through the main walking area, as well as peppered all around, that just aren't as obvious as the big three toes with the claws, uh, more partial prints, but they could be anywhere around here. And you just, unless you knew what you were looking for, you wouldn't even notice. So just past the sign, right there, there's another little trail of different type of dinosaur tracks. It just looks like natural divots in the rock until you look at the pattern and look closer and can see some toes. That pattern, just a quintessential trail left by an animal. So I've walked down the wash, past the sign, looking for more dinosaur tracks. And the ones back here past the sign are much harder to identify. In fact, I can't even be certain if they are. Check it out. So ones like this could just be natural divots in the rock or they could be severely eroded dinosaur footprints. So these ones down here, much, much harder to identify by what I could find the very best examples of dinosaur footprints are up there inside that little metal wall. These ones past the wall, much harder to identify and just a lot less impressive. Still amazing, still impressive, but not as clearly defined as the ones back there behind the wall. As I get one last look at these really clearly defined prints, man, I can't help but wonder what the Native Americans thought of when they were living out here hundreds and thousands of years ago and finding these tracks. You gotta wonder what they thought about that. That's just crazy. Incredible, amazing, fascinating, and worth making the trip out here to see, if you're in the area. Now that was a really fun experience. If you have an idea for an adventure that we should go on, please put it in the comment section. And if you're looking for some more adventure ideas, you can click one of these links and go to the page, because there's literally hundreds of other adventures going on there, and I hope to see you next time. Uh -huh.